a lot of people are talking about AI war. I think the best sort of comparable is the space race of the 1950s. I think there's a lot of similar things around the nationalism, the excitement, talent. You know, we had U.S. versus Russia there. Mm -hmm. Very similar vibes. I think there's probably eight different axes wherein we so rare earth energy. There's data, which nation has the best, richest data source. Which that's 100 percent China. I mean, because they're pro surveillance and they're also way less regulated. So, of course, they've got the best data. Do they just win outright? So but there's other axes. So there's there's regulation where. More often than not, when, again, we look at data privacy, GDPR, countries that set the precedent on the regulatory side and have first mover advantage there, usually other countries adapt. So, again, the country that's first to nail AI regulation probably wins on that front. Mm -hmm. I think there's the talent war, which is right now, whichever country sort of gets the best talent in the door wins from an AI perspective, but also like locks in like innovation for the next few decades to come. So that's like Zuck's move. Yeah. I mean, even if they don't win the AI thing, you know, they're going to have such good talent where how do they not win AR, VR? I don't know. So I think you've got like this, you've got talent, you've got data, you've got regulation, you've got model architecture, rare earth energy. And I think the countries that get ahead are the ones that move the needle on these axes. And I think the U.S. is ahead on certain and behind on others. So China, they've got really good data. How do we compete with that? 